Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron. I'm here to show you this 2015 65 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S Line 5 door finished off in Methoth Black. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the car and then we get back around to the start. I'll show you the vehicle once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop and give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to it prior to sale. Now we're back round to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we're going to look over the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing looks good, near side front door looks in good condition, near side rear door looks in good condition and the near side rear quarter looks good as well. Near side front alloy is a good condition alloy with light curb into the outer face so it will be refurbished prior to sale and the near side front tyre has got a good 6mm of tread remaining. Moving down the near side now to the near side rear alloy. Again, a good condition alloy, but with light curbing, so will be refurbished prior to sale. And the near side rear tyre has got approximately 5mm of tread remaining. Looking back down the near side now from rear to front, near side rear quarter looks good, near side rear door looks good, near side front door looks good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle, so we're checking out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see to start with we have got some very light superficial scuffing just on this near side rear corner so it will be machine polished and touched up to the best of our ability prior to sale same again on this off side here as you can see other than that looks in nice condition the tail lights and the tailgate look in good condition the rear screen looks in good condition and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks in good condition, offside rear door looks good, offside front door looks good, and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, good condition alloy, again with the very light curb markings, so will be refurbished prior to sale, and the offside rear tyre has got approximately 5 or 6 mil of tread remaining. You probably see again some very light superficial marks here that will be polished up and touched in in our specialist workshop prior to sale. Moving down the offside now to the offside front alloy. Again, as you can see, nice condition alloy, light curb marking, so will be refurbished. So we'll have a full set of refurbished alloys. And this offside front tyre has got approximately four or five mil of tread remaining. Looking back down the offside of the car now from front to rear, offside front wing looks in good condition, offside front door looks good, offside rear door looks good, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the vehicle now, so we're checking out the front bumper itself and all lights and grills. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition and the front bumper itself, taking into account the age and mileage of the vehicle, looks in really good condition. Bit of polish left over there from the valet, but other than that, looks really nice. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, the paintwork on the bonnet is in good condition, no major chips, cracks, scratches or anything like that but as you'd expect we've got a couple of marks along the front that will be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior we'll check out the front screen. As you can see there are no major chips or cracks on the screen and to be fair there are barely any surface markings, one or two nearer the centre there but other than that really really good condition front screen. Now we'll make our way through the interior of the car starting in the boot pop the boot open as you can see really really nice condition carpets and plastics these mats if they're for this car and fit is a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles i just moved them out of the way as you can see all the carpets look good split parcel shelves including the sale of the car as well and all the plastics just underneath the boot lid are in good condition too now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car starting in the rear Rear door cards are in good condition. S-Line rear kick plates. And we've got the full black S-Line leather, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headline is in good condition. Backs of both front seats look good, and the rear carpets are in good condition as well. Moving into the front now. Front door cards are in good condition. Again, S-Line kick plates, carpets look good. And the front S-Line sport seats in good condition. Bolsters are still firm, holding their shape. Only very, very, very light wear along that front bolster that you always get with a car of this age. But other than that, really, really nice condition seats. No cigarette burns, no traces of any odours or anything like that. Jumping in, passenger seat is the same. Really good condition. No signs of any 
dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. We're just gonna start the car up and run you through some of the spec. So we've got full electric windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors, central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle, automatic lights and wipers in this car, cruise control on the stalk just underneath the uh, indicators there. Moving up the centre console, we've got a fully adjustable armrest, two usable cup holders, all the MMI controls in the centre, automatic transmission with electronic parking brake, dual climate control and heated seats. From left to right on these buttons here, we've got traction control, full parking sensors with optical display and stop start. I'm just going to turn the blowers down so you can hear me a bit clearer. Now we're moving through the MMI unit. As you can see, we've got DAB radio and a few other options. In media, we've got Bluetooth, telephone, connectivity, and again, a few other options you can see there. Satellite navigation on this car and full telephone prep. And to finish off, we have this leather bound S-Line multifunction steering wheel with flappy paddles. And this car is on 73,182 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car, any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.